In the deserts of northwestern Saudi Arabia, a discovery near Al Ula has upended our understanding of ancient civilizations. Archaeologists have unearthed a vast subterranean structure filled with artifacts displaying technological sophistication far beyond what was thought possible for their era. This isn't just another find. It's a disruption that challenges the entire timeline of human technological development. The so-called Al-Ula anomaly suggests a society with advanced knowledge of materials and energy existed thousands of years before any known civilization. The site's location, beneath layers predating the famous Nabataean city of Hegra, hints at a culture far older and more advanced than previously imagined. Ground-penetrating radar reveals a complex network of chambers and tunnels, evidence of masterful engineering and planning. The preliminary report, titled Groundbreaking Find in Saudi Arabia, leaves American scientists speechless, reflects the shockwaves this has sent through the scientific community. Artifacts include metallic alloys and crystalline structures that defy current scientific understanding. The discovery forces us to reconsider the very foundations of our history. Experts worldwide, especially in the United States, are struggling to reconcile this with everything they thought they knew. The Al Ula anomaly doesn't fit the established narrative. It breaks it. The world now faces the challenge of integrating this anomaly into the human story. The discovery began with a strange thermal pattern in satellite images, not a planned archaeological dig. A Saudi-German team searching for water noticed a geometric heat signature 80 meters below the desert. Ground-penetrating radar revealed a network of straight tunnels and circular chambers, clearly artificial, not natural. A fiber-optic camera sent down a borehole showed smooth, seamless walls and metallic geometric objects unlike any known ancient tools. The first artifact retrieved was a dodecahedron of unknown, ultra-dense metal, impervious to diamond tools and unidentifiable by modern spectrometry. This single object confirmed the site was no ordinary archaeological find. Dr. Eris Thorne and Dr. Fatima Al-Jamil realized they were witnessing something that would rewrite history. The technology inside the ancient structure seemed futuristic, not primitive. The atmosphere in the research tent was one of stunned silence. There was no precedent for what they were seeing. The dig had just begun, but the implications were already global. The history books, it seemed, were instantly obsolete. The world was about to change. The Arabian Peninsula's geology is far from static. The Al Ula anomaly sits within the ancient volcanic field of Herat Uwayrid. The complex is buried beneath sandstone and limestone, capped by basalt two million years old, making the site itself incredibly ancient. Core samples reveal that, hundreds of thousands of years ago, this region was a lush savanna, not a desert. The advanced society that built the complex thrived during this Green Arabia period. The structure is ingeniously integrated with natural fault lines and ancient riverbeds, showing deep knowledge of geology and hydroengineering. Some tunnels follow now dry underground rivers, hinting at sophisticated water management or energy use. The builders chose a geologically stable site, ensuring the complex's survival for millennia. Such engineering is far beyond what's attributed to early humans of the Middle Pleistocene. The desert didn't just hide their city, it preserved it, a silent guardian of a forgotten world. This find challenges everything we thought we knew about ancient human capability. The materials found at Al Ula are the most baffling aspect of the discovery. Chamber walls are lined with a ceramic metal composite, CERMET, technology only developed in the 20th century. The metallic dodecahedron is made of a super-heavy, stable alloy with quantum locking properties, something modern science has only theorized. Power conduits are flexible, crystalline filaments encased in an organic sheath. When electrified, they emit light and generate a containment field. This suggests lossless energy transmission and field manipulation, using materials that are both organic and engineered. The technology fuses biology and physics in ways modern science is only beginning to explore. These are not isolated anomalies, but parts of a complete technological ecosystem. The society that built this complex engineered matter at the atomic level. They created integrated systems with functions we're only starting to comprehend. The term out-of-place artifact doesn't do justice to what's been found. 
scientists now face the challenge of understanding not just the materials, but the civilization behind them. The Al-Ula anomaly is a technological enigma from a lost world. Dating the Al-Ula Anomaly has been the most contentious part of the investigation. Optically stimulated luminescence, OSL. Dating of surrounding sediments places the site ceiling at around 410,000 years ago. Uranium-thorium dating of calcite layers on artifacts confirms a minimum age of 385,000 years. These results, cross-validated by labs worldwide, are nearly impossible to dismiss. The site dates to the Middle Pleistocene, when only primitive hominins were thought to exist. The technology found there is completely out of place for that era. The evidence points to an advanced civilization existing when our ancestors were supposed to be simple hunter-gatherers. This single data point breaks the established curve of human progress. The preliminary findings sent shockwaves through the global scientific community, especially in the United States. American institutions, long leaders in anthropology, were blindsided. Dr. Eleanor Vance of Harvard called the data paradigm-shattering. Initial skepticism gave way to frantic re-examination of old artifacts and data. The Max Planck Institute's reputation and rigorous verification made dismissals difficult. The discovery's geopolitical implications are profound. For the first time, American scientists are not leading the charge on a find of this magnitude. The primary analysis is happening in Riyadh and Jeddah, with Americans reliant on shared data. This has prompted urgent calls for international collaboration. The U.S. National Science Foundation is pushing for a global task force. The find exposes a blind spot in the Western-centric view of prehistory. The speechless reaction is one of humility. Our story may be far older and more complex than we imagined. The paradigm isn't just in peril, it may already be broken. The Al-Ula site has become a hub of global scientific collaboration. Saudi Arabia has created a secure international research zone, inviting teams from Japan, China, the UK, and the US. Japanese robotics and Chinese synchrotron labs are probing the site's most delicate areas and analyzing exotic materials in real time. American teams from MIT and Stanford are using AI to process vast datasets and decode possible data storage patterns on artifacts. This unprecedented pooling of expertise ensures rigorous verification and rapid progress. The project now resembles a planetary science mission more than a traditional dig. Archaeologists, physicists, engineers, and linguists are working side by side. The Al-Ula anomaly is now a global effort to reclaim a lost chapter of human history. The Al-Ula anomaly demolishes the linear model of technological progress. It suggests advanced societies may have risen and fallen long before recorded history. The builders, dating back 410,000 years, were likely not Homo sapiens. This forces a radical rethinking of ancient hominin intelligence, or even the possibility of a now extinct, unknown intelligent species. The discovery hints that our family tree may be more complex and crowded than we thought. If another group achieved or surpassed our modern capabilities so long ago, it challenges our unique place in history. High intelligence and technological mastery may not be exclusive to Homo sapiens. The story of technology on Earth is older and more mysterious than we ever imagined. The Saudi discovery has shattered the bedrock of our historical understanding. What began as a thermal anomaly is now a vast, ancient complex with impossible technology. The world's scientists are collaborating to unravel its mysteries. The data is clear, the dating robust, and the implications undeniable. The Al-Ula anomaly is not just an out-of-place artifact, it's an out-of-place civilization. As the excavation continues, we stand at a pivotal moment in human self-awareness. This find will either rewrite our history or remain a haunting, unexplained footnote. If such a civilization could vanish so completely, what does that mean for the permanence of our own?